let me zoom in. Maybe I should make this bigger. I think we have a short agenda for today. Um, in the community block, the major thing we should discuss about is that uh, the election have ended and we have a first result. I don't know if you checked the Slack where we already had the message, but the issue is this one here, 312. And if you scroll down, you will see a message from Stacy saying that Salaboy and uh, Thomas Schuetz are one of the two committee members for the governance. And uh, there is a ex equo between Anna Medina and David Hirsch. And this means we will call again on action on the community to vote from the 10th of January to the 24th to decide which one of the two will be the third member. If you are part of our community, then you should be able to vote there. Is there anything else we should discuss for the community section? I had also another entry that yesterday, uh, the captain slack run over time, let's say, it's completely dead now. So we moved everything to the CNCF Slack now. And there you can find the captain channel. Let me share it in the document as well. Oops. Uh, if Here. I remember correctly, Giovanni, there is some flimky way to join the CNCF channel, right? Do you remember? There was a request to ask for if you've never been in the CNCF channel. Yes, then you can use this one. Yes, Let's thank see. you. And the Slack is called Captain, and we also have another one for development, but yes, mostly we use the Captain one. I'm now copying the link towards that. Here it is. It's a uh, Captain Life Cycle Toolkit Dev. I didn't want to write yeah. everything, it was too long. <laughs> <laughs> but just to bring everyone up to speed, the first channel is the public one where we discuss everything there. <clears throat> and the second one, the slash tab, is where we discuss when PRS are ready, when we need some developer type of uh, assistant when discussing implementation details, in discussing tickets, so more focus on the development side of work for Captain. And I see somebody else is adding about GSOC, which I guess it's Meg since she cannot communicate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we had some question over the Slack channel also about this, that uh, whether or not we will join GSOC and we have Stasis working on it. So you can probably participate and uh, she will probably give us more information later on. You can find her also on the Slack of the CNCF. Then there's also a question from the chat. Can we have a contributors channel? Mm. Uh, yes. Uh, what would you like to discuss there? Prakri pra oh gosh, <laughs> sorry to butcher your name. Prakriti. <laughs> Just write that in chat. We can have a discussion asynchronously and then report everything in the document. Linux Foundation mentorship, we don't usually join it as far as I remember in the past two years. Go 
contribution related stuff, wouldn't that be the dev channel? Yeah. I would say if you have any question about the PR, you can use that. Should we go through anything else? Are there any other questions in the chat that you see? If not, then maybe we can move on towards documentation. Mag, did you have anything about documentation you wanted to discuss? I see there's a comment here about the amount of people joining the channel. Uh, yeah, we, we, I noticed there is an item of plot documentation for the refinement time block. I don't know if that, we can just move towards that probably. But I don't think it would be very fun to have a conversation via chat otherwise. Both of them, actually, in the refinement and the discussions are just documentations. Which one were you pointing at, Mac? A warning about new tools if anyone wants to contribute to docs for the next week or so. Ah, uh -huh. I think then. Probably is in the need discussion. Which I don't see here. I actually was discussing this with Mac before that we are now switching towards the new documentation website. The website is on, but we still have a double folder, docs new and docs. And uh, we don't have uh, clear documentation about how to uh, interact with the stocks new version of the website, where the, the how to see the deployment of the website in the PR and where you should have changes and where not is uh, sometimes still fuzzy for some contributors. And so we had to comment on each of their PR that this is the new uh, folder and uh, what to do with it. And also there are some old part of the documentation which don't make more sense. Like before we were using GitHub pages and this is seen still in the documentation for the contributors. This may be a bit confusing. And uh, I think also there are a few more things that were really not listed in any ticket that we should probably hurry up and do, which is, for instance, get rid of the double folder and uh, probably change the current configuration of Mac Docs to point to the new folder and uh, all of this redundant double docs, docs new information on the tickets that we can get rid of and help people understand a bit better. And we still have the pipeline with Netlify showing the wrong PR preview in documentation PR that doesn't help. So there is a bunch of stuff that are not really there for contributor to easily understand what is happening right now. That's the ticket. I thought Netlify was disabled. I if you open a pull request, let's see a documentation one. Oh, sorry, wrong round. Oh, pull requests. I don't know. Yesterday I was able to see it. Uh-huh, but not from this one. Yeah, if it's a 
old PR, then Netlify still get the webhook. So they still uh, register, let's say, for, okay. for changes on the PR, but new PR shouldn't get it anymore. We disabled it already. So maybe we should just remind people on those PR that they should rebase or what? Close them. <laughs> Close them and reopen it. Yeah, I think it would be the best. And Giovanni, how can people see the preview of their work if not using the make file? There's no way anymore. There is. We have an integration with uh, Mark the Docs that creates them. Um, uh, one second that I'm trying to find out. Uh, because I think this is not. Very obvious anymore. Yeah, there is an um, auto magic created URL for every PR. I'm trying to look into an example. Uh, for instance, open a documentation PR, please. This is it, no? Which one is that? Two, uh, it's too big, sorry. 2779. Okay, Let's see it. Since it's an R coded URL, could we just add it to the CI pipeline? Yes, exactly. For instance, I was looking at another build. Sorry, it's this one. Uh, there are some. Oh, Mac wrote a lot. <laughs> Ah, true. Also, if you scroll down, 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 Anna, on the PR, yes, Yash, there is at the bottom again into the things there. Docs, read the docs, Captain. The build uh -huh. failed. Okay, the so details. that's why we don't see the yeah. And from here, there should be the yeah on the, the right hand video. side, uh, where you see. Okay, it's in Italian, so yeah. Sorry, show documents and. Yeah, it's on the right hand side there is a link for so would it make sense to add an action like sonar cloud and others that writes a message in the pr Maybe yeah we possible. we plan to have a bot doing that we're looking though instead of implementing and maintaining that if mm -hmm. there is already something out there that does that for us and is this documented in a ticket I don't know, Moritz was taking care of that, but he's sick, so I don't know if he created a ticket for it or not. Uh, because he wanted to look into, is there already an integration for it or should we look to implement our own? I'll list it in the not clear things in my horrible issue then. Perfect. Yeah, I think, that's what I wanted to ask about documentation. I don't know, Meg, I had a list of other things in the chat. Um, she mentioned that we don't use Hugo anymore. That there are some updates about the contrib guide and a huge unmerged PR. So, Meg, do you have the PR issue? Maybe contributors can check that. And then Giovanni, I don't know if you want to click over this one. I have no clue. Ah, oh, it's Max. I will say <laughs> let's discuss it the next committee meeting since Mac fortunately cannot talk, so she cannot really guide us through the ticket because it's quite long. The comment down, the second comment is quite big. Okay, then I think we run out of things. Let me double check. Yeah, this is also from Mac. But it's on hold still, so. And it's on hold, yes. Do we have any other topic?
If not, maybe we should keep the meeting short and nice. Other words, suggestions about how to find documentation. <laughs> Uh, there is something in chat. Is this one depends on the other issue or can I plunge into it? Uh, do, 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 do. Mm. Uh, Prakriti, actually, what's the status of the other issue you're currently working on? I saw that there is something related to the I think setting the auth URL in the Dynatrace DQL provider. Actually, I pulled that changes. You can check it now. I, I lost. I couldn't hear. But yeah, anyway, I think this one uh, uh, will be ready to be worked on when when we have moved to V1 Beta 1 as a hub version. Otherwise, there will likely be uh, some conflicts when working on this PR. So. so we need for the whole epic to wait for this ticket, right, Flo? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So if you have difficulty with the other ticket, you can ask for help or just uh, decide that you don't want to work on it anymore and state it. And we do have many others available, I'm thinking, in our issues that are not linked to the context propagation. If you avoid this one, maybe it's easier because they are all linked. Anything else? Okay, then. I guess thanks, everybody. And, uh, see you next week. US time. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.